welcome back to Flea Simmels Friday. I'm Michelle from Flea Simmels, here to teach you some life skills with sewing and crafting. In today's video, we'll be making these laminated bookmarks using templates from fleasimmels.com. Let's get started. So to start off, you either want to print off a downloadable pr printable from fleasimmels.com, which is what I will be working with today, or you can design your own using different craft papers, coloring pencils, decorate it however you want. This is also a really great activity for kids because they can decorate it however they want and they get a custom bookmark at, in the end. So some of the tools that I'll be using today include a laminator, a corner punch, and a paper cutter, but I will be going through different ways to do that if you don't have those supplies. So to get started, like I said, I'm going to be using the printable template from fleecimals.com. This printable template is an eight and a half by 11 that comes with four different bookmarks. It also, in that pack, packet, it comes with four different bookmarks per page, but it comes with three pages of bookmarks in varying sizes. So it does come with these four, a couple other gradients, some patterns, and some cute little mini bookmarks as well, which are perfect for kids' books. So to start off, we're going to cut each of these out following along the guidelines of the gradient. So for this, I'm going to be using a paper cutter, but you can obviously use just scissors. You could use a straight edge and um, an X-Acto knife. I just happen to have a paper cutter. This one's from Fiskars. I absolutely love it. Um, I got it as a Christmas present from my brother. Who knew brothers could actually get good Christmas presents, right? So the first thing I'm going to do with this template is cut around all four of the edges. This will make it easier for cutting all four of them. And then you can work your way into, into the, in between the bookmarks. I'm just gonna do a second slice there because I missed a little bit of the white edge. And I'm gonna set these aside as I cut them. You could also use different scrapbooking papers like from our shelf, our mini shelf video. That is a great way to get fun patterns in your bookshelf, or in your uh, your bookshelves and your bookmarks. You can get your uh, books to match your own shelves. All right. So after cutting our four bookmarks, I'm going to place the paper cutter aside, and I have this really nifty corner punch, and the cool thing about it is it rotates to different size corner punches. So I'm going to put it on the smallest setting, and I'm going to go around and punch the corners of my bookmarks, just like that. If you don't have a corner punch, you can cut it by hand, you can leave it a straight edge, um, you can round off the corners with scissors as well. My, my technique when rounding with scissors is to keep your scissors straight and rotate your paper. So if I want this corner to be rounded, I'm gonna cut and slowly cut as I turn the paper and do that all the way around. This is a great technique for getting rounded corners if you don't have a corner punch. It's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna be as good as a corner punch, but it is a very viable option if you don't have one. I'm just gonna finish up these bookmarks. And I'm actually going to swap this red one for this patterned one that I printed from a separate sheet on the template around that last corner. 
And this is the one that we did by hand, so I'm going to finish this one off as well. Now, since starting this video, I have been having my laminator heat up, and it'll tell you when it's ready. It's not ready yet. <laughs> but while it heats up, I can prep the laminator sheet. So laminator sheets come just like this. It's a, it's a little bit larger than an 8.5 by 11 and it's connected on one end and has a fold in the middle. So you put all that you want laminated inside the two pieces and close it. So with our bookmarks, when we do this, we really wanna have a, a lot of space, probably about a half inch um, from any side. So to make this easier, you can use a graph mat like I'm using to align to align your bookmarks so they're about an inch between each other just to give yourself some extra room about three quarters of an inch it looks like is going to be the best way to fit these just spread them out equally and in normal documents, you, you may want to push this paper up against this edge, but we don't want to do this for this project because we're going to be trimming the edges after it comes through the laminator. So when we cut the laminated pieces, it's going to have this nice eighth inch border all the way around, and then we're going to hole punch that as well. So my laminator, laminator says it's ready, so I'm gonna carefully move this out of the way. Bring my laminator in. And if you do laminate it yourself, just be careful that the pieces don't move. If you go to a store to get it done, they're gonna, they're gonna be pretty good about movement of the pieces. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it started, but once it goes, it goes. Your bookmarks might shift around a little bit as well through a laminator because there's nothing holding them in the exact spot that you put them in. We don't want to tape them down or anything because that would be visible from the back. Now these bookmarks are one-sided, but you can also leave little notes for one another on the back before you laminate them. You can make it two-sided, you can color a little picture. The, the opportunities and the creativity is really endless with these. You can make just about anything. I'm just going to wait for this to come through. And turn off my machine. All right, so now that we have our four bookmarks laminated, I'm going to line up the, the laminator sheet with my grid so you can kind of see how they shifted a little bit. But that's why we put such a large gap in because we just need the room to trim it. Now, I have, I'm going to be using my, my paper cutter to cut the lamination, but you can use scissors or an X-Acto knife just like before. So I'm going to cut out this green one, giving myself about an eighth inch all the way around and set any others aside. All right, so here is the bookmark after it's been laminated and trimmed. You can see that the rounded corners are here in the paper and the edge of the plastic is straight. Now you can go around with scissors, but if you do have a punch, you can move it up to the next level and punch around. I do recommend before using a punch to do this method since you're doing a rate a radius inside a radius. You want to test a bunch of cuts on scrap paper to make sure that it aligns the way that you want it to. But after hole punching, or after corner punching, you're left with this beautiful bookmark to put in any book, 
Any magazine uses gifts. The possibilities are endless. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fleece Friday, and I'll see you next time. Bye!